Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad khatim a nabiyyin. Wa imam al-mursaleen wa ala alihi wa sahabatihi ajma'een. Wa tabi'een wa man taba'ahum bi ihsan ila yawm al-deen. Amma ba'd. Ahabatu fillah. From one of the things that the mu'mineen is ordered to be away from and to solve or yu'allaj or meaning to cure is fitna, is trial and tribulation. And everyone is trialed and tested with something, if not many things. Some people are tested with their wealth. Some people are tested in their Iman. Some people are tested with family. And all the various ways in which we are tested by Allah to see how would we react with regards to our Iman. And in this regard, we also see that unfortunately many from the creation enjoy being a source of fitn, fitn. That many from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creatures that he has created from amongst mankind and jinn, that there are many that are sources of fitna and trials and tribulations with regards to their own religion and the religion and faith of others. And what we see in this time is we see so many people amongst the Muslims, amongst many of the Muslim youth that have an inclination to follow the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Walam Yusibu That we have many of the youth They want to follow The Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam So it's not for a lack of want But they don't Achieve that Aim They don't achieve Those noble ends And that is to practice the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in accordance with the madhab of the Salaf al Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, or Rahimahum Allah jami'an. And so, what we find for many of the youth, for example, so many of the youth ask questions about making judgments on other people and about things that have no, that should have. And do have very little impact on their lives. So you'll find youth that live in all over America asking about the governments, uh, Muslim governments, and really busy in themselves with this. You know, looking for ways to make takfir of them, looking to talk about the latest political fitna, looking to, you know, stir up controversy here and there, but you don't see them trying to rectify themselves. Because Islam and the da'wah to Ahl sunnah is a da'wah, a call to rectifying oneself. And in this time, in the more contemporary times, one of the great imams of the sunnah that really revived that call was Imam al-Albani. And that's why he has this book here. And I just happen to have it here, literally. I didn't plan this. Uh, which is entitled a Tasfiya wa Tarbiya, the you know purification and education. So meaning by seeking knowledge and seeking that which is beneficial, you're going to rectify yourselves and you're going to rectify your home and you're going to rectify your community and you're going to rectify your society. But when you see people who busy, for example, a lot of the youth, uh, like followers of Faisal, and I'm not trying to, I am trying to single you out, but I am also making a point that you're not alone in 
being people who love fitting. You know, how many questions do we get people wanting to know? What about a masjid administration? They have cameras, cameras in the masjid and it's a part of the uh, disbelievers plan. What about these ones? They're doing this. What, what about you practicing your Islam? And staying Muslim because I've seen and I, I wallahi billahi tallahi I'm swearing by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that some of the most hardcore tekfiris that I've known personally turned out later to work for the CIA turned out to be and they were very active very active in wanting to support Shabab very active in 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 getting in big al-qaeda circles in Yemen uh, became very uh, you know, well known, and they worked with all the the Danish intelligence agencies. This agents uh, M M fifteen or what M I five or whatever they're called in the UK. All these intelligence agencies and left Islam because that is the 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 Salaf used to look at the people of bid'ah and innovation and see how that bid'ah and following your desires, getting into all this controversy, all, all this fitna, spreading fitna, being a source of fitna, lighting the fires of fitna, that really you spend very little time at rectifying yourself and you go from bid'ah to bid'ah until you eventually leave Islam. And this is the case, wallahi, you see it, I've seen it many times. It's not just this particular individual I'm talking about, Morton Storm, but there's many others uh, you know, many other case scenarios, I've known people personally who were the hardest core, you know, they make takfir of you, make takfir of the ulama of Ahl sunnah They were sources of fitna and they were followers of Faisal, but then Faisal wasn't hardcore enough. Then they went to Abu Hamza Misri and he was okay for them. And he, my sheikh will make takfir of you if he heard you say this. I say, your sheikh is on dalal and all this stuff. We can, I can give you countless personal stories and then we can just look at all the, uh, the, countless uh, examples and personal examples that people have had and then the greater fitna that has arise, uh, arisen from these people of fitna. And the point being, Habitatillah, busy yourself with that which is good. So I wanted us to look at uh, a little bit of a lecture of Imam Fozan, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, and we're just going to go through a little bit of it because it talks about fitna in general and then the importance, you know, he's bringing kitab wa sunnah, and then that that is the way of uh, cleaning yourself, purifying yourself, and dealing with fit, fitna, however it comes. Whether it's a fitna in your personal life, or it's a fitna from the people of Dalal and Bid'ah, or, or disbelief. The Imam mentioned that everyone of course, as we know, is tested in trials to the, to, in various ways. And he mentions the ayat where Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahi rahman ar-rahim, alif lam mim. Ahasab al-nasu an yatraku an yuqulu aminna wa hum la yuftanun. وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ فَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا وَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ الْكَاذِبُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتابه الكريم after alif lam mim do people think that they would be left alone and they can claim that they believe you know they say that they believe and then they won't be tested. So it's not sufficient. We can claim Salafiyyah. We can claim Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. You can claim to be a mu'min. You can claim to be a believer. But you're going to be tested. And that's really what's going to determine uh, who you are. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we have tried those who came before them. In order that Allah would look to see those who are truthful and those that are liars. So we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jalla wa ala, bi hikmatihi, yajra limtihan ala ibadihi, liyatamaz al mu'min al sadiq. 
من المنافق. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts us through these trials and tribulations in order to distinguish between the believer that's truthful and the hypocrite that is, that is a, a liar with regard to their iman. So these are tests from Allah Azza wa Jal. You're tested and tested to see how you're going to come out. And may Allah bless us all to be successful. I mean, and to come out of these tests and trials and tribulations as mu'mineen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al kareem وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ آمِنَّا بِاللَّهِ بِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرُ وَمَا هُمْ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ يُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَمَا يَخْضَعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسُهُمْ وَمَا يَشْعُرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about the hypocrites. He says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ آمِنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَبِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرُ And then from the people there are those who say, we believe uh, in Allah and the Day of Judgment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about them, وَمَا هُمْ بِمُؤْمِنِينَ And they're not believers. So they say it, they claim, but they're not uh, Ahli Iman. And then he subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا They try to deceive Allah and the believers, or those who believe. And they only deceive themselves, and they're even unaware of that. وَمَا يَشْعُرُونَ They don't even know. They're deceiving themselves. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ كُفْرِ شِرْكِ وَالنِّفَاقِ وَزَنْدَكَ آمِينَ وَإِيَّاكُمْ So, from these ayat, we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests the mu'mineen, that you're, you're, you're going to encounter fitna. And there will be, so you don't want to be a source of fitna for one. You want to try to rectify yourselves. Because it's not simply enough, uh, a matter of claiming something. As we mentioned this count, uh, countless times, we mentioned the fiqh uh, principle. Al-ibra bi haqaiq laysa bi musammiyat. That the reality of something is not in its name, but it's in its substance. Let's look at some examples. If I say to you this is a pen, and you say, no, it's a miswak. And we argue about this. We argue about this. We go back and forth. I say, no, no, this is a pen. You say, no, it's a miswak. It doesn't matter that I change the name to a pen. The substance in reality, it's called a miswak, and it's called in Arabic, it's re referred to as a miswak. This is a miswak from Suwak uh, al-Haramain. I don't know if it's from, the, uh, from Medina or where it's from. But the point is, it's not sufficient to make the claim. Likewise, some people say that they are mu'mineen. Most people don't go around claiming and shouting like the Christians do and say, you know, yes, I'm saved and this and that and the other. But some people, they claim, for example, they're from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Like you have some of the extreme Sufis, like some post uh, mentioned about the, uh, there was a Chechenian conference in the past couple years in Chechnya. Uh, you know, when it was a gathering of all these Sufi sheikhs and, and so on and so forth, who it claimed that there was an, uh, a gathering of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. That was the title of the gathering. So they claimed to be from Ahl Sunnah, but their ittiqad, their creed, their menhaj, their methodology, yukhalif kitabi wa sunnah, goes against or differs with the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَسَبِيلَ مُؤْمِنِينَ Which is Sabila Sahaba رضي الله تعالى مجمعين And the path of the Sahaba And the methodology of the Salaf al-Salih And so أَحَبَتْ فِي اللَّهِ It's not sufficient a name Likewise, we have people now who claim to be uh, and, and, and external people Either they're not Muslim Or Muslim so-called academics Like Dr. Qadi and others Who say that there are Salafi jihadis And you know, all these kind of names uh, and misnomers for Ahl Sunnah. They divide Ahl Sunnah into different categories. But Ahl Sunnah says, La, we don't accept that. There's Salafis, best. This one is a Takfiri. We don't say Faisal is a, a, a Salafi and following the Madhab of the Salaf. We don't say Abu Hamza Misri is from following the Madhab of the Salaf. We don't say Abu Qatada Philistini is following the Madhab of the Salaf. We don't say Abu Ham Muhammad Makhdisi is following the Madhab of the Salaf. We don't say Abu Bakr al Baghdadi al Khariji. 
uh, you know, ISIS uh, leader. We don't say he's following uh, the, the the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We don't we don't say that. We reject that entirely because their their amal, their deeds of uh, and widespread takfir and takfir bin ilzam and all these other or takfir bin lazim. It's called. All of these these group takfirs and whole societies, and if you don't make hijrah to us, you're a disbeliever, and all this, and the sp spilling of bloodshed of the innocents, and, and 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 anything in between, it goes against the book and the sunnah and the madhab of the salaf, and so it doesn't even have any kind of right to be claimed or referred to as salafia. So al ibr bi haqaiq leesu bi musamiyat. The reality of something is is in its substance, not in its name. So it's very important to practice the book in the sunnah according to the method of the salaf and that takes ilm, it takes knowledge in order to combat all those shubahat and all those false claims and all of that deviance wallahu musta'an. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his hikmah, his divine wisdom, he distinguishes between the truthful ones with regards to their iman and the ones who are liars and this testing is is the fitna the shaking up it comes from these trials and tribulations and this distinguishes between the truthful ones and the liars from from the ahli iman ahli iman as sadiq you know the, the people of iman uh you know of true iman and then the people of hypocrisy so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala test us with various trials and tribulations in our lives to distinguish between the two. And that's what we learn from those two ayat. And we see from authentic narration of the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, uh, uh, several authentic narrations of the Prophet, alayhi salam, what is the prescription for this fitna? How do we deal with these trials and tribulations that we deal, whether it comes through our shahwat, through our desires, or whether it comes through our shubahat, through bid'ah and, and khurafat and kufr and ideas of disbelief? How do we deal with things? How do we deal with this, this fitna? The Prophet wasallam gave us uh, a prescription of how to deal with fitna, the trials and tribulations that we find in our lives and all these various means that we've talked about and the trials and tribulations and fitna of others. The Prophet والسلام, mentioned that part of the test and part of the, the what would take place in the future of the, uh, in accordance with prophecy is that you'll find those who they, they, that the, they will wake up as believers, but they'll go to bed as disbelievers. Or they will awake as disbelievers, but go to bed as believers. The Prophet ﷺ said, Badru bil a'mal fatanan kakat'i kalqit'i al-layl al-mathloomi yusbihu rajulu mu'minan wa yumsi kafirin. O yumsi al-mu'minin wa yusbihu kafirin yubay'u deenahu bi'aradin min ad-dunya The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned that a, a, a man would awake and this is a part of the fitna that a man would, would uh, wake as a believer but he would go to bed as a disbeliever and likewise, a man would go to bed as a disbeliever or as a mu'min and wake as a disbeliever. And then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that he sells his deen for something, some price in the dunya. You know, some, some frivolous uh item in the dunya. So being sincere is one of the ways to deal with fitna and trials and tribulations. The Messenger وسلم, also recommended, advised, and ordered to adhere to the book in the sunnah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem first and foremost, وَاَتَّسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا That you should 
hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding the, the Muslim ummah to unite upon the Quran and Tawheed wa Sunnah, the Hablillah. And not to divide into groups and the sects and be a part of that fitna. But that is the, the medicine for us. And the Prophet والسلام, said, he mentioned, he said, Kitabullahi Fihi Nabau Ma Kablakum Wa Khabaru Ma Badukum Wa Hukmu Ma Bainakum Wa Hua Faslu Laysabil Hazl Men Tarakuhu Min Jabbarin Kasamuhu Allah Wa Men Nabtaga Wa Men Abtaga Al Huda Fi Gairihi Abdullahu Allah Wa Hua Hablullah Hil Mateen Hakim, Mustaqim. The, uh, Allah, uh, the Prophet والسلام, said in a hadith in uh, Tirmidhi, collected in Tirmidhi, he said, The Book of Allah. So again, it's the Hablillah, the Book of Allah, holding on to the Quran. So we got it, we need to study our, our Quran, we need to adhere to the Quran, we need to study it so we can hold fast to it. And he said, In it, meaning in, in the Quran, is the news of the people who came before of you know of what the events that happened in the past that we need to know in order to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those things which are relevant lessons and stories and 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 lessons re and 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 affirmations of tawhid so there's stories and that which we need from the past and there is news of things that uh, that will come after you you know, things about the future, signs of Qiyamah, signs of the signs of the day of judgment. And it is a ju and it is used to judge between you using the book of Allah. And it is a it you know it divides between haq and batil, separates between truth and, and falsehood. And whoever leaves it and desires other than the guidance that is contained when, within it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will leave them misguided. Allah will leave them misguided and misguide them. And it is, meaning the Quran, it is the hablullah. It is the, 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 the rope of Allah, al-mateen, you know, the strong uh, rope of Allah. And it is a dhikrul hakim. And it is the wise way, uh, uh, remembrance. And it is the straight path. So it lets us know we need to adhere to the book of Allah. We need to adhere, adhere to the book of Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said in another narration, and this also shows us what is the prescription for all this fitna and all this division and the fitna and trials and tribulations you face even as an individual. He ﷺ said, Taraktu fikum shay'in. Lam tudillu ba'duhuma kitabullahi wa sunnati. The Prophet والسلام, said, I left for you two things that you will not be misguided after them. Meaning, if you adhere to this, you will not be misguided. The Book of Allah and my Sunnah. This is why it's so imperative, you know, it's why we follow and we love Ahla Hadith. The Prophet Sallallahu said also how to deal with this fitna of division, the fitna of separation, the fitna of enmity between the mu'mineen, the fitna of bid'ah, the fitna of all the trials and tribulations that we, 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 we deal with. Because he, he gave us the prescription. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, فَإِنَّهُ مَنْ يَعِيشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيَرَى اِخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّةِ وَسُنَّةِ الْخُلَفَاءِ الْمَهْدِيِينَ الْرَاشِدِينَ تَمَسَّكُوا بِهَا وَعَضُوا عَلَيْهَا بِالنَّوَاجِذْ وَإِيَّاكُمْ مُحْتَثَرَ الْمُورِ فَإِنَّ كُلَّ بِدَةٍ ضَلْ إِنَّ كُلَّ مُحْتَثَةٍ بِدَةٍ ضَلْ The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he said, whoever lives after me is going to see many differences. 
You're going to see many differences of opinion, many different fatawa. This is halal, this is haram, this one. Uh, th these people are from Ahl Sunnah, these people are not from Ahl Sunnah. This is this, this is this. You know, all kind of differences. And groups and sects and parties and all the other things that we see. So he said the prescription, it's upon you my sunnah. And the sunnah of the Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdiin, the rightly guided Khalifa, meaning Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, wa Ali, radiallahu ta'ala, and Majmain. And then he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Tamasiku. You know, hold on to it, grab on to it, and then cling to it with your molar teeth. And beware of newly invented matters, for every newly invented matter is a bid'ah. It's innovation. And every bid'a is misguidance. This is what Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. So do not get so excited and attracted to all these personalities who have new ways, new methodologies, new ways of, of, of trying to practice and understand the deen, who have no reference to the Salaf al Salih, who don't follow this prophetic advice. Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdin. It's upon you, my sunnah, and the rightly guided Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdin. They don't have any any uh, reference to uh, uh, Abu Bakr wa, 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 wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. Instead, they have new things. They said, hey, no, we, we follow Abdul Qadir Jilani, for example. Uh, we follow uh, uh, Abu Hassan al Ashari, rahmatullahi alayhi, rahmatullahi wasiya. You know, when he was, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, as far as the Ashari creed. Or we follow uh, Imam Abu Mansur al Maturidiya. Or we follow this one, or we follow this one, or we follow the Takfiris, we follow the Khawarij, we follow Abu Bakr al uh, Baghdadi, we follow Faisal, we follow Abu Qatar. Instead of following the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with the Sabila Salaf. Limada. Why? Why are you going uh, following all these different ways? Why not be quiet, learn, be humble, clean yourself up, rectify yourself before you try to rectify the, the world? And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct, anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan.